Hello everyone. Hello. We're in Camden. We are. We are. We have got um, tickets to the early preview of Ghostbusters tonight. So we thought we'd come up early, have a bit of a snacky day in Camden and then make our way over to Leicester Square have, for the show. Have a little adventure through London and then go and get some food. It's so tiny. I'm wearing flat shoes today, like actual hype shoes. <laughs> so I feel tiny. Yeah, we've just got here now. It's what, mm -hmm. like nearly one? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So we're going to go train. get some food from the food stalls in the I'm very Camden swollen, market. by the way, everyone. I have my tooth out. So if it looks a bit weird, I'm like... Finally, Staying had the tooth ripped out. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go find some food and uh, get away from this noisy road. But, yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Camden is awful busy today. Everybody had the same idea to get food. Always. Always. Because the food's so good. Yeah, there are some banging food. Quite, like, so would you call them, like, food carts or stalls or what? It's probably stalls. Probably stalls. Are we going up here? Yeah, through here. Are we going through here? First up, our favourite, the Mac Factory. The Posh Spice Mac and Cheese. They've actually changed it, haven't they? It was, I don't Induya know. Induya or Nuja, however you say it. And it's now chorizo, so I hope it'll be just as but good. But look at that, it still looks fantastic. Mm. So we just demolished that mac and cheese. Oh, it's so yummy. I don't know, I didn't even check my face before I um, started doing this. You're all right, we've got nothing in it. Oh, uh, it's lush. We are currently by the lot, by the actual river bit. Yes. Which we've never been, like never come and stood here before, surprisingly. I have. You have. I have. I have. I have. Not, not for many moons since I used to be a young <laughs> goth. Me and Kate come and stood here for our dinner after the Iceland kills. So we're going to have another look around some of these other places over here. You See, want a burger, don't you? I want a burger, but I want a good one, and I don't want to. I don't want to compromise. We've got time to find a good burger. Yeah, so we're gonna hunt for a good burger. We're gonna go look for that right now. Just walking down the market bit. On the inside. I called it the gosh shop. I'm talking about the toy shop. The toy shop. Oh, everything's open today. Uh -huh. This was all shut last time I was here. This is good. It's because it's a Thursday, isn't it? Mm. I think it might all close yeah. earlier on like a Saturday or something because the last time we came here it was pretty... Yeah, not it, a lot I was mean, it was open. pretty naff really, wasn't it? Because everything was shut. Yeah. Even all these art stores are open. If you haven't ever been to Canada, There it is, the little toy to. shop. Oh, no. It's a good one. This toy shop is mental. Oh, yeah, there's another guy. The gremlin's gone. There's a gremlin up there still. Oh yeah, there is. So this toy shop is so sick. It's literally wall to wall. They've got the thing. That shop's mental. It's literally full of all the things you want to see from a collectible shop. I actually want, I was just saying, I want to make the um, top of the toy room like that. Well, hang all the toys from the ceiling. We could get our picture taken. We could get our picture taken. This is where me and Chloe done it last from here. time. Are we doing that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're getting our picture taken. So. So, after walking around all of the stalls in Camden, this guy was like, I just want a Popeyes. I do. I like, don't get me wrong, some of the food looks amazing, but I'm very particular. Very and in, particular. And in my head, if I'm gonna spend like 12 quid on something, and it might be I'd much rather go for a Popeyes that I know I absolutely love. So we're now walking an hour over to Kilburn. Yep. To go get me a Popeyes, but it's a lovely day, look. The sun's out. It is out. lovely. We're going to get our steps in. You know, I'm all about getting the steps in nowadays. We are. We're going to get our 10,000 steps and the rest. And there's always an underground, so we can just get the Kilburn underground to somewhere else. Yeah. So well, to Leicester Square. Well, yeah, we can. Go look in the Lego shop. <gasps> it only took us like an hour and 15 minutes, but here it is. Hour and a quarter, was it? Yeah, hour and 15. And there's a Macca's across the road, so you can get a hot cross bun pie. Oh, that was good. Yeah, those are good. Into Popeyes. My favourite food ever. Popeyes. Completed it. 
and I feel super fat now. Off to Leicester Square. The obligatory trip to the Piccadilly Circus fountain. Love, love, love. Do you know the movie? Of course they know the movie. Oh. Of course they know the movie. If they don't know the movie, they should. And now we're on the run. <laughs> right, where are we off to now? Leicester Square. Leicester Square. Let's go. And we're off to the Odeon. We are. For and the, the Ecto's there. For the screening of the new Ghostbusters movie. I just trod on a <laughs> stick. And uh, terrified myself because I thought it was something valuable. Yeah, so it's actually out tomorrow as in Friday tomorrow. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we're here today, and oh, there's, a, there's a couple of Ghostbusters possibly there. There's a couple there. of Ghostbusters there in the Ecto, so we'll do a little film when we get a bit closer. Yeah, it's, it's raining. It's just started raining. Raining, so. weren't forecast. Yeah, typical, isn't it? Obviously. Oh, I can see Hannah waving over there. I can't. <laughs> I can't see a thing. We'll <laughs> momentarily. A little video of the Ecto-1. Slimer as well. <laughs> Little potato. <laughs> Very cool. I just want to get a picture. Look at that. <laughs> he looks happy. So He's, good. Uh, looks like one of our cats. <laughs> <laughs> he does, yeah. I think I'd like an Ecto one. <laughs> For a sign. What sign are you waiting for? Cruiser of the Traveler. He will come in one of the pre chosen forms. During the rectification of the product, the Traveler came as a large moving tour. Hold it! I'm not suitable for a federal judge. You see, there's some moldy battle. Hi, guys. Sorry, these guys over here. What, what film were you in recently? Uh, I think it was Kung Fu Panda. Was it? Yeah, Kung Fu Panda. No, it was Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Ah, how was it? How was it? Amazing. Yeah? Experience. Oh. experience of a lifetime. Yeah. Best place to go to get your uh, your tattoos that you really need. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mr. Celebrity over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to be rinsing him for his body later. We want to oh, see these yeah. tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be the last. You won't be the first. <laughs> Look at that tramp stand. I've seen on the documentary. <laughs> Look at that. This is very cool. We've got our Monster Munch, what have you got? A couple of beers. A couple of Heinies. We've got can popcorn, water. can of water. Can of water. The guys are all here, minus Hannah. I've got Prosecco and it is time to watch Frozen Empire. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to say on behalf of so many pictures, it gives me great pleasure to be able to welcome you to this, the UK multimedia screening of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire! So, you're about to see what's next in store for the Ghostbusters. Back in their spiritual home of New York, there's some thrills, some slimy spills, and, as you're no doubt aware, some serious chills. It gives me great pleasure to be able to welcome someone to the stage. He is the hugely talented co-writer and director of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Give it up for the brilliant Gil Cannon! Hi London. Um, happy Ghostbusters Eve to everyone. It's an exciting occasion tomorrow. Uh, the newest and, uh, and uh, at least to my mind, uh, most uh, beloved Ghostbusters film uh, opens. Uh, I'm so glad to be joining you all in this room, uh, uh, a room 
redolent with monster munch dust. <laughs> We're all breathing it, it's fine, just accept it, take it in. Um, it's uh, actually one of my favorite uh, cinema houses in London. Uh, I, I love the sound in here. Uh, I want you all to know that this movie was made with love by Ghostbusters and Ghostbuster fans. And I count myself as the luckiest fan in the, uh, in the world of Ghostbusters. I started my relationship with these films as a kid, as a seven-year-old. Uh, when I saw the first film uh, as it opened. My dad took me to see it. I can't remember if I dragged him or he dragged me, but I do remember that that evening changed my life. And it started a, uh, a lifelong relationship with uh, the characters uh, who you're about to meet. Uh, it uh, is an absolute honor and thrill to be screening this film in my first and current hometown of London. Uh, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely uh, uh, excited for all of you to see what Phoebe and the rest of the Spangler clan are up to. Uh, Gil, thank you so much. Let's hear it for the co-writer and director of Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. Gil Pennon, enjoy the movie! Enjoy the show, everyone. Oh my god. Oh my God, that was so unbelievably good. I can't even, I nearly cried twice. I'm very emotional at the minute. You did nearly cry twice. I did nearly cry twice. It was the main. Don't spoil anything. Mm. All I'm gonna say is it's so dark and I actually think I like it more than the last one. Now I know the last one was super emotional. I get it, it made me cry. But this one was so good. It, it was like, Come on, Burger King, sort me out with some toys. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, Burger King. I want, Burger I, want, King. I want my Burger King kids meal to have the Ghostbusters toys in it. I think that was definitely better than the last one. I liked After the Life. Love, no, I love it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, love it. But this was so good. I can't, I can't, I want to, I want to tell you everything that happened. I want to talk about the ghosts. Yeah. I want to talk about everything going on. But it just emotionally, I was like, it's really it good. It's so good. It it's is a so very good. good film. It feels more like a Ghostbusters film. That's pretty much yeah, all we no, can no, say. Yeah, no, no, it does. It is so Ghostbusters, and and the nods, like yeah. the nods are insane, yeah. and and what they say, and mm. there's a lot of uh, sort of callbacks to some of the older films as well, like oh. the original and Ghostbusters two, and even a little bit back to like Afterlife as well. Yeah, yeah, um, of course. But yeah, definitely worth going to see. Please I, go and see it. Please go and see I it. It's just so good. I honestly think it's the best Ghostbusters film since the original two. I will put, I'll die on that hill. Yeah, because you know, there was one that wasn't so great. Yeah, but then even and then the last then it's one better was than the really last good. one as well, though. The last one was great. Yeah, but this is still better. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I thought you were talking about the female busters being better than the last no, one. No, all, no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. That that just that just I, wasn't. There's great. a pink light over there, and I was like, oh, we're gonna, it's gonna explode with loads of ghosts coming out of that building right now. They've now, just turned now us it's off. Dark. They've just turned us off. But go and see the new Ghostbusters. It's so good. We 100% recommend you going to check it out. We definitely. loved it, and I think we're gonna go and see it again. Yeah, definitely need to yeah. go see it again. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Go and see it, please. It's so good. Definitely. So guys, it is the next day, and we are still buzzing from seeing Ghostbusters but as we didn't sign off um, yesterday I thought we would quickly show our tickets we don't usually get tickets for the events we go to so this was pretty cool yeah these are really cool tickets as well so let me get it that little poster on the front and then on the back all the details it's nice like you said we don't usually get actual no, physical tickets to it so this was a nice little reminder nice little yeah. thing to keep and then Hannah's dad who was an extra in the film Mr Chris Carter um, gave us some Ghostbusters little posters and the four guys that were extras signed it for us which is super cool yeah they were um, actually I think, there I think there was a video I'm pretty on, certain there yeah. was you'd have, you'd have seen them at the front with the Ecto-1 anyway they were there uh, Chris was with us but these guys were they were dressed as their, Ghostbusters with their Ecto-1 out the front of the cinema so. but I got to go in as you'd have seen um, <laughs> I was an actual Ghostbuster for like three minutes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I felt like I was in there a while. Yeah, to be fair, you was in there for a minute. Happiest I've ever been in my I life. I didn't get to go in there. 
I was lucky. Horrible. But, yeah. yeah. Go and see the film. It is out now. We fully recommend it. I literally just said to him before we did this, I, I want to see it again already. Yeah, to be fair, it was... I'm not sure if I said it in the video before, mm. but it was uh, the best one since the original two for me. Yeah. I preferred it to the last one. The last one was good, but yeah, this I, is definitely I agree better. With that. I can't really remember what I said because I was five seconds in, so... Yeah. My review, I could have just said it was great over and over again. We'll find out. And after. it was dead late when we got back. <laughs> yeah. We were going to do this the night we got back, but we had to do this mm. the next day because it was super tiring. But yeah. Definitely go see it. We came, we saw, we loved it. <laughs> <laughs> the delivery on that was perfect. <laughs> we hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like button, leave a comment below if you've seen the film. What you think of it if you're gonna go see the film yeah let's talk about it i'm excited and we'll see you next time creeps bye creeps